do, do you see any challenges with the adoption of 6E? Or do you see, I mean, I know that this is kind of a logical step through the different Wi-Fi's and, you know, we, we've stepped through five and six and moving into 6E, but do you see any, um, any type of challenge that people may run into? Um, you know, earlier it used to be a challenge, but it's not a challenge anymore. And the reason I say that is if you look at the previous generations of Wi-Fi, I know you're new to Wi-Fi technology, but just to give you a primer, um, usually in Wi-Fi technology, the networking products always come first because networking devices and networking industry, there are so many different players and uh, the timing of device launches can be very different. So throughout the year, you will see new products coming out. And so the networks would come first and then the devices come out like six months later at CES or uh, Computex or Mobile World Congress, so on and so forth. But now what has happened is <clears throat> because of these, uh, um, uh, the end user giving so much importance to Wi-Fi, if I remember correctly, I think you know either Qualcomm or another company, they did a survey, they asked people now, what is one of the key factor that drives your user experience or makes a purchase decision on your phone and laptops? And the answer was, you know, Wi-Fi was like, you know, 50% of the people say, you know, it's my Wi-Fi experience. So, so as a result of that, earlier we, you know, networks would come and then slowly clients would come. But now these things are coming together at the same time because both, uh, you know, consumers as well as enterprises, they feel that the maximum benefit that you can get is when you have both sides of the link, which is the networking device as well as the client devices. And as Qualcomm, since we, um, provide both access point networking solutions as well as client solutions, we were able to drive our roadmap so that the product launches are happening you know, in very close succession so that the customers don't have to buy a networking device and wait six months or a year or two years to get benefit out of the network. They can buy a, a device that has uh, the latest and greatest Wi-Fi 6E technology as well, so that from day one they can get that benefit. So, so in 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 a, in a way, pandemic has kind of helped uh, um, help alleviate the challenge. Great. That, However, you know there are there is still some challenges remaining because um, Wi-Fi 6E, as I said, six gigahertz of spectrum is uh, uh, opened up in a lot of countries, but uh, it is not homogeneous across the world. There are still some countries like China, they're still opening it up. And uh, uh, so uh, unlike 2.4 and 5, which is kind of, you know, everywhere it is available, you know, six gigahertz, there are still some countries that are uh, regulatory agencies are still opening it up. And, uh, you know, that, that, that might pose a little bit of challenge in terms of a user experience, because now a lot of users, you know, they don't really care what spectrum you have. They're like, OK, I have this great user experience in my home, but I go to this country and travel there and I'm not getting it. It's worth the way it was here. <laughs> exactly. Yes. yes. Well, I mean, I, and it seems like things will continue over time. They'll be able to get to that point. We're expecting yeah, eventually but, full no, adoption the deploy, of the six right, figures, So Right, absolutely. I, but the deployment, you know, the spectrum is opening up uh, so much more. The deployments are happening faster and faster. And uh, I mean, look, don't get me wrong, but around the world, all of the all of the governments have realized the power of Wi-Fi that, uh, um, you know, every Wi-Fi, as I said, is become like a utility. You know, everybody needs Wi-Fi. Everybody needs Wi-Fi to be able to access information. And, you know, we, we thank all the governments around the world for being cognizant of this fact and working uh, on on opening up the spectrum to provide these, you know, services to consumers. Absolutely.